All right, YouTube, Chef G back with another video. All right, today we're doing homemade French toast. We're gonna do some eggs. I'm gonna show you how to cook some eggs different ways, over medium um, is the way I'm gonna cook them for myself. Um, I'll show you how to do um, sunny side up as well and then we'll transition to the over medium, okay? So first things first, we're gonna get our um, batter made for our French toast. We're going to be using some Sara Lee Artesian Brioche Bread, okay? Just, you can use whatever kind of bread you want to use. That's the kind that I want it because I like the flavor of the brioche, okay? Um, I'm going to crack two eggs. I have one and two. And to my bowl, I'm going to use some ground cinnamon, so a little bit of ground nutmeg, and a little bit of vanilla just to give it that flavor you can add in about a couple of tablespoons of sugar I'm not because I'm going to use syrup and I don't want to have the excess sugar okay so we're going to bring you down here to our bowl so first egg in egg number two okay I'm going to use a fork um, to mix this together. So what you want to do is bleed. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all guys. We're going to use a little bit of half and half. Okay. If I get that open. So I can add some of that in there. So I got two eggs. So I'm going to do about a couple tablespoons of the half and half. So about two tablespoons. Okay. That mix together. Um, cinnamon, let's go with um, a tablespoon of that. Okay. We're going to do a couple of shakes of the nutmeg. We'll do three shakes. Go a little bit of vanilla. We'll do about a teaspoon of that. Okay. Like I said, you can add sugar to yours if you like. I'm not going to add the extra sugar because I'm going to use syrup on my French toast. Okay. All right. So we got our um, egg wash made up. I'm going to pour it out on the plate so I can dip my bread in a little bit easier okay all right let me get my pan on um the stove so it can start getting hot all right get that pan on bring you guys up for a second um don't forget that's a little quick sorry about that guys um, to hit the like button, um, share this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Okay. Trying to get to a hundred subscribers by May, mid May. Um, so I can give a, do a giveaway guys. Just give away some free stuff. Um, all you have to do is share the video, subscribe to the channel and hit subscribe. That's it. All right. So my pan is getting hot on the stove. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, some butter. This is an unsalted butter to put in my pan for my French toast to actually cook. Okay, You can do this on top of a griddle. Um, I didn't want to bring out too many different equipment. Um, so I'm just going to use a pan. But let me, guys, let me show you guys what I did while I go. I don't know what I was thinking when I didn't put it on the video. Uh, my hash browns. Okay, if you guys can see, I made hash browns from scratch, had potatoes, um, red, yellow, orange, and green peppers. I had some onion, sweet onion, that I put in here, and these look good, guys. Let me get a spoon, let me taste a little bit with you. I put a little salt, black pepper, paprika. 
garlic powder, and olive oil was all I put on. So if you guys can see this, I don't want to turn it over too much. Okay, there's a little peppers on the other side. I'm going to taste that. Mmm! I didn't even boil these potatoes first. I put it in that air fryer. I put it on french fries. It went for 400 degrees, 18 minutes. I took, um, checked it once it beat. Um, they weren't quite where I wanted them to be. So I put them on another 5 minutes on 200. <laughs> and I got hash browns. So I'm going to leave those over here. Let those stay warm while we do our French toast. Okay? So, we're going to bring you guys over to our French toast. Or our stove, rather. Not really at our French toast. But to the stove, guys. Okay? Uh-oh. I didn't mean I dropped you guys. It's my bad. I'm trying to set, set you guys up over here on the other side. Sometimes things happen because this is what real life. Okay? Sorry about the hand in them. I'm doing all kinds of mess ups today. Y'all have to forgive me. Um, with the dropping of the camera. Okay? Um, but see, hey y'all, I'm back. Um, but I'm gonna bring over my batter here. So I got my batter and my butter. Ooh, my pan is nice and hot. Let's turn it down just a little bit. Let's get a little bit of butter in it too. We don't want her to cook too fast. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some butter melted. Bring y'all down just a little bit. So you guys can start seeing that butter melt in the pan. Grab me a couple slices of my brioche. Okay, get that butter nice and melted. Go ahead and lay those in my egg. And then I'm going to transfer it to my other plate once they're done. Okay, let them soak for about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. So you get a nice, nice soak on them. Okay, drain them right into your pan. Same thing with this one. Right into my pan. I'm going to throw my next two in. And this um, bread is nice and thick. And that's what you want. You want a nice thick bread to use. You can use a Texas toast if you like. I just chose brioche because, I, like I said, I like the flavor of the brioche. Okay? We're going to let this cook for about two minutes on this side. Then we'll flip it over and allow it to cook on the other side. Okay, meanwhile, our other two pieces are absorbing. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? <laughs> that is called French toast, guys. You see? Put y'all on the camera a little bit. Um, nice golden brown is what you're looking for, okay? It's going to be a little soft, so if you're a texture person, you don't like a lot of different um, soft textures, then you probably won't like French toast too much. Okay, because it is soaked in egg. Okay, we're gonna let that cook a little bit longer. We're gonna put a little piece of little butter in there. I'm gonna do our other two pieces. I think they're ready to come out. We're gonna pull those on out. It doesn't take very long to get those cooked. Throw another tablespoon of butter into your pan. You see it's cooking too fast, then you adjust your heat. One. And two. I probably got enough egg to do one more. Okay, so what I don't eat tonight, y'all, I'll probably eat tomorrow for breakfast. Um, just FYI. 
Okay, I'll let that finish cooking on that side. I'm gonna flip this bread over here, over. Looking for a nice golden brown. It smells really good in here, y'all. That cinnamon cooking, that vanilla, Woo, the nutmeg. I cooked some bacon too. Let me show y'all. Cooked a little bit of bacon to have on the side. I got that already done. Okay. Draining on my paper towels. All right. Flip her over. Flip her over. Okay. I'll be eating this by myself tonight. My husband, he wanted chicken and rice, so I made some chicken and rice for him earlier that he's going to be eating for dinner tonight. I wanted some breakfast food. So, that's why I'm up here making my French toast, y'all. And my hash browns. And um, what else did I make? Oh, I'm going to do my eggs. So, i got to show y'all that, too. Okay? So, it's been about two minutes. So I'm gonna take the, those two out. And brioche is a really rich bread, so it's a lot of flavor in it. Put a little bit of piece of butter because I only got one, so I don't need the whole tablespoon. Okay, make sure I get the rest of my little egg mixture. Alright. While that's cooking, I'm gonna let y'all watch that. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. So this is something you guys can do with your kids on like a Saturday morning. Real simple recipe. Um, kids will like it. You can garnish it with like strawberries, blueberries, powdered sugar. Um, if you like cooked apples, throw some of that on there. Okay. Um, I'm going to get ready to take this out. I'm going to get my eggs ready and I'll be back with... A cookery.